Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Holmes of the Wall Street Journal, and this is how you get Kristen Stewart's hair in the new Twilight movie. Fans of the Twilight series know there's a lot more to love than just Edward and Jacob. Kristen Stewart, who stars as Bella, has phenomenal hair. In the final installment, her locks have just the right amount of volume and curl to keep it out of her face for all those vampire fight scenes. To show us how, we've come to the John Barrett Salon at Bergdorf Goodman, and we are turning to stylist Mahogany Grace. Hi, Hi. Mahogany. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. So, I have to, I will admit that I read the Twilight books and I do love her hair. So okay. tell me, if you want that really voluminous look, where do we start? Well, we do not have a ponytail, first yeah. of all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's lose this. We'll definitely want to start with brushing it back because her hair was off her face a lot. Okay. And a curling iron, maybe about an inch, inch and a half. Okay. Medium sized sections, spraying each section. And with that big curling iron, it's gonna get us the big curls that she has. So the kind of curls you're making here, tell me what. This is more for the ends. Okay. Because her ends also had just a slight Bannon. bend with a little bit of body. Yes. I'm actually gonna throw a few Velcro rollers in the top. And what I'm gonna do here is take a little bit of the hairspray and spray the root a bit okay. before I put the roller in. Gives it a little extra. Yes, kick. Where you need it most, which is at the root. So you're getting the curling iron all the way up there, huh? Yes. We want that volume to hold pretty much all night. I'm gonna take a Velcro roller. You wanna over direct forward and then roll back so that it's directly on that base. So you curl the hair first and then add a roller? Yes. Okay. And once again, I'm over directing, pulling it forward and then rolling back. So these are pretty big Velcro rollers, huh? Yes. Well, we're doing a looser wave. Okay. So the smaller the roll, that'll create a tighter curl. Oh, okay. The so bigger the, the roller, the a looser, yes. And I'm doing the ones around your face, away from your face. That'll also help it, you know, open up your face, stay off the face and just give you the volume. Are you a Twilight fan? I actually am. Are I've you? I've read in all four <laughs> books that I have them. <laughs> Me too. When I first started reading them, my friends were like, what are you reading? <laughs> I have a lot of friends who still say that. You read those books. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, you should really read at actually, least the first one. I know it will great. happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are you team Edward or team Jacob? Edward. Me too. That's the right call. And I like to start at the root when I curl. So you'll actually have a bit of body. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, because when you roll the ends and then roll up, this actually doesn't get to heat as much as the ends. Ah, because it's on the outside. Exactly. Under. So now we're taking your rollers out. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a light brush. And I'll run my fingers through the ends. And already we kind of have what she has going on with mm -hmm. the fullness and the body, but now we want to cre create the volume at the root. Okay. What I'm going to do next is use my teasing brush. I'm also going to use this product by Shu Uemura, which is a texturizing powder, which is okay. really good for fine, heavy, thin hair. You just kind of rubbing it at the root a bit. Oh, it's like a brush or? Yep. Okay. And the powder just kind of comes out very lightly. Sometimes when the hair is too clean, it just falls. Oh, uh -huh. But as you can see already, it's kind of It stays holding. up a little yes. bit. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to tease. So this is like a teasing brush or a teasing comb or? Teasing comb brush. Up. Okay. And when you tease, you always want to start mid and then work your way down. Okay. Mid, work your way down. You want to kind of pack it at the root a bit because that's what will actually create the hold. This is really up there, huh? <laughs> and we're going to brush it, don't worry. <laughs> it always starts off big, but teasing is fun because you can always brush it out. 
So you massage it a little bit? Just a little bit, just kind of lightly running my fingers through it. Then you can just start to brush over it a bit. And even a little bit of spray will also help. Put your head back. Yep. Wow, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mahogany. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. For more tips, tricks, and the latest style news, keep it at youtube.com slash WSJ. You can find me on Twitter at eholmeswsj. There's so many different tones of blue. So there's tones of blue that can actually enhance blue. And we're just going to massage this color. I like to say rock it in the socket. So we are going to rock this back and forth 